Hello everyone, I'm Elder Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the beginning of a new campaign in Old World Blues, of course, Tlaloc's Demise. So, let's start a new campaign, As you and as you can tell from the thumbnail and probably the title, we're playing as the good, the old Western Brotherhood. I have yet to play as a chapter, or Brotherhood chapter, on my channel, and here we will begin. So, let's start off with some custom game rules. Let's load a preset, BOS, now... Let's talk about it just a wee bit. So, uh, no one gets strengthened. No idea why we would want to do that, but anyways. Uh, Broken Coast, Ragnar, Kaiser's Legion. Well, they're not going to go Brotherhood of Mars. Chichen Itza, Under Franco, Costa Caffinata. They'll be independent. Desert Rangers. I want this campaign to have the NCR be a little bit more buffed. I'm not going to directly buff them, but they'll get the allies with the Desert Rangers. I could make them the Steel Rangers to make me stronger. But, no. Well, we won't do that. Free Fires will go blue. Great Cons will go with Regis to get closer ties with the NCR. But the Mojave chapter will, of course, probably align with me just a little bit more. Um, or at least go under Elder, Edgar, Harden. Not with the NCR, just because... whatever. Um, New Rita will go with the NCR. New Vegas will stay go with the NCR as well. New Nueva Atlanta will go with the Speaker. Um, Rio will go with Rosado, Tierra will go with the Fox, Tlalocan, well, uh, he's not going to buff anybody. Uh, Troll Warren will go with Betty, and Vault City will go with Security Chief Wallace. And I decided to make Tlalocan go with his children immediately because there's really no point to have him just stay there for five years and then die, and then have everyone else restart, or at least have his children restart, so whatever. Uh, historical AI off, and let us go ahead and start as Mari Torni. The leader of the brother Western Brotherhood of Steel. Um, I had some one of my subscribers tell me that I should try to get as many or as a couple other nations in the campaign to be come chapters. Maybe I'll let them become chapters. Maybe not. I really have no control over what happens. For example, in New Victoria, they can become a Brotherhood chapter. That'd be really cool if they did. But you know, I, I can't control them. Obviously, you saw that there was no option for me to tell them how they should go Ooh, so oh well that's why i went with rosado in the rio grand republic um just but i did want to see a bigger ncr a stronger ncr because they're going to be one of our main enemies right now let's see oh we can play as these people no thank you mexico is mexico uh, let's go ahead and start our national focus justice on october 10th 2077 Less than a week before the nuclear fire destroyed all that was and had been, Robert Maxson and his followers descended upon the West Tech facility in hopes of finding resources and supplies. Instead, they found a freak show, a nightmarish realm of FEV and mad scientists. Robert was furious, and what he decided to do with these madmen would echo through the centuries. Awesome. Now, the thing about playing as a Brotherhood of Steel, or any chapter of the Brotherhood of Steel, you don't have a lot of manpower. We're okay, though. For now, with our current focus tree, we will get enough. But it's never enough for me. I mean, we have Old Guard, 3%. That's okay. You know, it's like milk. Wait, 3%? No, that's 2% milk. Anyways, um, 3% is okay for now. With our focus tree, we will get more and more and more. So, I'm not really worried about manpower too much. But I will try to maximize it as much as possible. Uh, oh, Navarro. Hello, Navarro. Let's get some research slots. Obviously, we have five research slots. We'll obviously go with research speed. And some good old industrial stuff. Uh, industry planning. You know what? With industry planning, I always go with work as needed to get a little bit more recruit pop recruitable population factor. With this, you lose a little bit of growth, but you get more max factories in the state. I exclusively, so far, have only chosen the top one. Going down this bottom one is probably a bad idea. But you know what? I'll try it in this campaign because why not? And for the land auction, I will ne almost never choose Refined Warfare just because it's not that great. It really isn't great. So, I'm going to go with Conventional Warfare, because why not? Obviously not Automated Warfare. I was thinking about Asymmetrical, but I want to go down Drooper Warfare just to get a little bit more manpower, because you never know. And you use less supply, and you get plus 3% Special Forces Cap Multiplier, which isn't great, but whatever. If I went down Asymmetrical Warfare, Ancient Tactics hurts our population. I don't like that. And yeah, Wasteland Tactics isn't bad, but... Whatever. Cool. Conventional Warfare. We're going to do that immediately. What do we have? We've got some scavenged power armor. we got some common energy weapons. Um, canoes. Well, you're worse than that one. I'm not even going to use canoes. Triremes. You are worse than that one because you cost less. Alright, that looks pretty good. 
Go with that, and then go with that. Boom, boom. We need some more resources immediately. Everyone deployed to Glenville. That would be great. 17 factories. Can we build anything else? Do we need anything else? I'm not making special forces. Goodbye. I'm going to put you on top because you're going to be much more important to make than pesky common energy weapons. Do that. Thank you. Uh, Paladins. They are 12 and a half combat with 5 battalions per division, which is okay. Yeah, that's, that's okay. It's not great. It's really not great. So, uh, the plan is to conquer a bunch. I mean, that's just straight up going to be conquering a whole bunch. Uh, we have Knights... Brotherhood Knights. I'm going to maximize those out. This is why I want to go with Conventional Warfare to get 5% more population. Just because I want to pop out a ton of divisions. This is Coast Guard divisions, actually. With your Special Forces cap, 5% of your feuded regular battalion. So the more battalions you have, the more Special Forces you can release. We are playing as a Brotherhood of Steel, which means we have Bunker Blues. We get plus 50 Special Forces minimum capacity, which means we can have a total of 60 Special Forces Battalions, which isn't bad, but that's obviously not, not very much, especially if you want to make our army have at least 20 combat with Power Armor Divisions. Paladin Miller, hello. And then you'll be under Paladin, Head Paladin Cannon. Offensive Doctrine would be great. Um, I do want to go to war as fast as possible, though. Mm, she, Umbra. You know what? And before we start time, take the infantry off. I don't like the infantry very much. There you go. And I want to take out the she as fast as possible. There you go. Alright, let's let time go on. Get a couple focuses finished. And look at the fleet. So we've got ten ships. And they are... Okay, it's not bad. It's definitely not great. Level five, Glenville. Um, We will sign to you. Allison Posey. Really? We get a guy who's an old guard already. Wow, that's not great. Ooh, do we have something over here? No. Oh, we failed. Whatever. Um, I will go ahead and train you, though, since we don't... Well, we still need a ton of energy cells, but whatever. So we have Justice. Um, I already read this, basically, but Captain Maxon and his men discovered to their horror that the West Tech scientists at Mariposa were using military prisoners as unwilling test subjects for their genetically engineered forced evolutionary virus, or FEV. How he dealt with these scientists would set a precedent for the Brotherhood. Let's see. Their value and knowledge was greater than their sin. Less planning, but more max planning. No, less planning speed, more max planning. He slew them, for there is such a thing as too much science. So less max planning, but you can research faster. Oh, screw that. Who cares about planning speed? More max planning is the way to go. The glow. In 2134, after the formal formation of the Brotherhood of Steel, a splinter faction led by Dennis Allen, who was among Maxon's original soldiers, requested permission to return to the West Tech facility in search of technological artifacts. Is that supposed to be an eye? Understanding fully that this was the most dangerous mission ever presented to the Council, he trusted his good reputation to garner him part of mission. Well, let's see how he turned out. Ah, uh, San Francisco, you must be taken out. You have a lot of resources that I need. Besides, we don't like we don't like communists here. You know, the Xi Emperor? Mm, we don't believe in emperors. We just believe in elders and leaders. So, expedition into the glow. And, of course, in 2134, an emerging faction of the Brotherhood, led by Sergeant Dennis Allen, petitioned the Council of Editors for permission to explore the remnants of the West Tech facility in order to search for technological artifacts. The approval or denial of his passage would resonate forever within the Brotherhood. Was he approved? So we get better land action research time at faster speed, or more division speed. Or he was denied certain planning was needed. Less daily political power gain, but more max planning. I don't want to hurt my political power. Yeah, that's not cool. So... I like max planning, but we already have a bonus to it already. And yeah, land auction research time goes away eventually because we don't need it for the entire campaign. But division speed isn't bad. Next up, the Vipers. The war with the Vipers was a skirmish like any other. Routine patrols you know, engaging in small and one-sided firefights with random raider gangs. But this time, it was different. This time, there were casualties. Maxine himself died hours after the engagement, riding in pain as Rad Scorpion Venom claimed him. This painful and horrific death led to outrage among the Brotherhood of Steel. And they are rightfully angry at that. Upset that their leader passed away. And why do you have three? One, one. Oh, that's why. You have two there. Cool. Um, how much do we get a day? 1.14. That's not bad. But we have the Vipers. In 2155, the Brotherhood sent a handful of squads out into the wasteland to track the Vipers down to the Elders. This seemed a glorified training exercise as they were convinced that a small detachment of Brotherhood troops and power armor would be sufficient to deal with the band of raiders no matter how large. One Brotherhood squad led by High Elder Maxon II himself 
located the Vipers. Expecting the Raiders to break and run at the sight of such a heavily armed force, Maxon did not take into account the Vipers' zeal and ferocity or their poisoned weapons. A single arrow nicked the High Elder while he had his helmet off, leading to his death a few hours later. Do never be overconfident. Never be overconfident. The Brotherhood retreated, so we get more defense and less training time, or the Brotherhood avenged Maxon. We get more speed and a division attack on core territory. Oh, we're gonna go we're gonna go fast, man. We're gonna get more speed and more attack. Yes, yes, yes. Next up, Old America. The Brotherhood was not only or the only pre-war military outfit to survive the end of America. And that became overwhelmingly apparent with the rise of the Enclave after years of passive observation and subtle maneuvering. The BOS, or Brotherhood of Steel, joined the NCR in the final battle at the Navarro Outpost. This was, in many ways, the opening of a new chapter for the Brotherhood of Steel. Hmm, what did we do to the Enclave? That is a very, very good question. Uh, but we have plus 15% more speed, or... Yeah, plus 15%, that's pretty good. Oh, she. So the war with the Enclave was the greatest opportunity the Brotherhood had found itself in decades. Hundreds of pieces of advanced tech and ancient secrets ripe for the taking. To this end, the Brotherhood taught or brought its full might to the battle, mustering over a thousand paladins from various bunkers and subgroups across the wasteland. However, during the battle, it became apparent that the seething mass that was the NCR's Grand Army was vastly outmatched and suffered heavy casualties. The moral dilemma of the Brotherhood was paramount. Did they gather technology? Did they follow the Prime Directive? Or did they protect the men and women of the NCR, those whom only the Brotherhood of Steel could protect? Let the NCR distract them. Navarro's secrets will be ours. We get better production costs, but we lose population. Or we defended the men and women of Maxon, earning their loyalty. We get more defense and a little bit more entrenchment. I do not want to lose manpower whatsoever playing as a Brotherhood faction. Yeah, production cost is nice, but that'll come in time. Once you get enough factories, it really doesn't matter. So we'll get the Maxim Brigade for more defense. That's flat defense, not in core territory, just flat defense. But we have the Maxim Brigade now. The choice to defend the men and women of the NCR was a costly one. Dozens of Brotherhood Paladins gave their lives in heated close quarters combat. Even as the Enclave destroyed hundreds of records and schematics in the depths of the Navarro Bunker, many among the NCR never understood the depth of this sacrifice. The moral turning point for the Brotherhood that was then finally placing human lives above technology. But those from the Maxim Brigade, who had grown up within the Brotherhood territory, they understood more than any other group, and following their disbandment after the war, went on to become a series of militias loosely associated with the Brotherhood of Steel. We are honored to have them at our side. And we get a general, nice. With eight more divisions, holy cow. And they are all the same, and they are actually 12 combat width compared to the 10 that we currently have. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Next up, now we can actually choose what we were going to do. Like I said, I want to go to war with the Shi as fast as possible. Mojave send, sends us a veteran of their chapter. Oh, I need to talk about a royal. I could ally a royal. I could go to war with them as fast as possible. I kind of want them. I kind of want to eat them. I really want to eat them. So, common ground with savages. Tribes of Umbra, far to the north, remain some of the last independent people in all of California. Yet, even now, the NCR moves to civilize or evict these people. For the sake of securing expansions in the north, they should be brought into our sphere of influence. Amen. Absolutely amen. Now, I want to go to war with the Shi, but go ahead and put some divisions against Umbra for now. Do that. Uh, we are training over here, which is good. Let you do that as well. You have three doing that. That's okay. We definitely need more resources. Oh, a royal. I'm going to have to make a decision by the end of the video here. I'm probably going to eat them up. Yes, I, they, I could make them a chapter. I really could. And what are they thinking right now? They could go with BOS Diplomacy, but... Oh, they're going with their armies. Uh, they don't have a lot of divisions now. They have two. If I take them out, that actually gives me more room to expand. And I want to expand. I really don't want to do this, but I'm probably going to eat them up. And I will play as a royal sometime on my channel. Sometime. Common ground. Uh, we need a lot of power armor, though. Holy cow, Desert Rangers went to war with the Jackals. Very nice. Anything interesting I should comment about so far? Uh, well, Maximilian, of course, got Tlaloc's lair. Kaiser is killing off the Twisted Hairs. <clears throat> the Yakuza territory sounds like a fun group to play as. Ooh. War Rider Yuriko. Ah, oh, Construction Basics. Nice. You know what? Let's go ahead and choose Work Assignments. Because we get just a little bit more output. I didn't realize that. More factory output. Never use it, but let's try it. Uh, woodworking, yes. More construction speed. More organized agriculture, thank you. And then 
industry better reinforce rate because why not good 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 two divisions that's fine spec ops don't need you now I'm gonna save up my political power so that I can get political mastermind Knights Simmons who gives us a little bit more political power but helps us reduce the cost of improving relations which doesn't matter economy laws trade laws and conscription laws as well so that's pretty good to do immediately first um, I will let you know uh, one thing once I read the next thing. So, the people of Umbra are more than willing to accept our presence, nor are they dumb enough to fight it. NF underscore brother dot five dot A. Great! Awesome! Good job, guys. You did nothing but you won. And we got a couple divisions from that. Okay, cool. Yeah. Awesome. Next up. Uh, I know some of you don't want me to take out a royal. I already know. But I have to do it, so. Why use words when force will do? The people of Arroyo are weak by far, and we could bring them into an alliance. We would do far better by simply taking their resources and equipment as our own. They could do little to stop us if we decided to march upon them. And yes, I could use their uh, resources. It ain't much, but they're honest resources. So, good. And I did want to let you know, I do have a particular mod on in this campaign. It's called Fast Justification, because I don't want to sit here for the next... 250 days justifying on a single country that takes way too long and that's just a little boring waiting anywhere between 180 to 250 days at a time to take out a single nation like the bone pickers ah, that's not cool that, that takes too much time that's why i've installed the fast justification mod i think that would be you know pretty good to do and the scope of this campaign i'm not really sure i definitely want to take out the ncr in time i doubt this will be a full campaign or you know wasteland conquest i doubt it will be i'm not really interested in those too much so i don't know we'll see what happens we'll see how far we get i want to at least complete the focus tree so uh and i probably will go with ooh fortress bombers air behemoths scourge i want to go with the pride win i believe that's what it's called i could go with focus fortress bombers superior fires superiority fighters blimps Hmm. Chaos restructuring. Ooh. We got combat language. And now we can get political mastermind. Thank you very much. And then we can now grab some decryption. Now they have three divisions up here, which isn't great. And they're probably going to pop out at least one, maybe two more divisions by the time we go to war with them. Not great, but whatever. Wow, well, special forces capacity multiplier plus 20%. So they haven't gone with diplomacy. And because they haven't done that, or tell me what direction they want to go, I'm just going to take them out. Now, Northern Defense Pack sounds pretty cool, but... Ooh, subjugate Northern Tribes. Reform the Northern Tribes. Ooh. Oh, there it goes. Seize Arroyo. I get a claim, which makes it faster for me to justify on them. Trouble on the home front, though. Tensions with the Xi have never been particularly good, but what can one expect when the two technological powerhouses live so closely to one another? It is only by our good graces that they retain control over their own advanced weaponry and technology, although recent events now threaten this mutual understanding. Awesome. Now, obviously we can't go to war just yet, but doing that, I need two more political power, and it takes half the time than what it should. Oh, the Xi asked for Outer San Francisco. The Xi have told us they wish to expand into Outer San Francisco. Rejecting saying no will likely result in war. Now, this is something I wasn't expecting yet. Go ahead. We will die before letting them... Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, Xi, you want to die this fast? I wanted to go to war with the Royal first. But you know what? So be it. We have, like, a, what, a hundred... Some days before we need, we can go to war with Arroyo. Oh, there goes that nation. All right, let's go ahead and take Claim State. That'd be great. We have about nine days for our power armor to get down here. And they are running down here. Or really just... Oh, they were quite literally running down here. Um, three days, three days. And I will make a decision in... Now. Cool. We will die before letting them take it. Get down there faster, guys. Go, go, go. We might be at war, so stop training now. Immediately repair. Even though only one ship needs a repair and it's a destroyer. We have reference manuals just in case, and now we have secret language for encryption. Awesome. Oh, we have an extra three ships. Nice. Destroyers are kind of garbage, but whatever. Um, convoy raiding, fleet patrols, do that area. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. You can just go ahead and repair. Awesome. Come on, get down here. God, you take so long. Oh, come on, Brotherhood of Steel members. The 3.7 speed. Come on. Come on. The Chosen One. Hmm. 
I don't like that. They could go towards me at any time. So, you know what? Just in case. Ooh. Oh, no. Nice. We got another paladin. Uh, how close are we going to war with the royal? Because they will have a few more divisions by the time we get there. Uh... Oh, we got 100 days. Uh, at that rate... But if we get to less than 50, I will send my divisions north. And which might convince the shield to attack me, then I'll just use infantry to do that. Let's get some battle plans for even more max planning. I love the planning. You know? Okay, sure. Yeah, go ahead, guys. Yeah, go right on ahead. Uh, Paladin Miller, please teach these people what we think about communists. Thank you very much. And Steel Palace is going to fall. Go ahead and start attacking that other special forces division. Okay, she. I, I don't know what you were really expecting. Like, that didn't make any sense for why you would attack me. But you know what? I didn't even need to go down that focus part of that focus tree yet. Great. All right, I have eight divisions up here now, and actually, I just connected my lands. Thank you for San Francisco. Thank you for those extra lands. Thank you for the extra factories. I really appreciate it. Oh, and you guys have nothing to do. Well, I guess go back to uh, doing that. I guess we just eliminated our first enemy with 19 extra divisions. Kind of just hanging out. Lieutenant Smith, hello. You're going to be mostly a Coast Guard group. That's okay. Woodworking. Nice. Work assignments. Um, Infantry, let's do militia training. That'd be good. we got to keep an eye on what happens down here with recon kits and stuff like that. We have basic laser weaponry, robotics, vehicle support stuff. Air stuff sounds pretty good to do right now. We have 52 factories, and they gave me a little bit of a boost. I love it. Go and repair all that stuff first. It's fine with me. Now, honestly, that was really, really beneficial for us since we they declared war on me. We didn't waste any time trying to fight them and Arroyo at the same time. And Arroyo is still just as weak. Oh, trouble on the home front. Recently, a group of Brotherhood Paladins attacked and killed a Sheep patrol. Well, obviously, we killed more than just one patrol, believing them to be raiders. The Sheep demanded a response from us. We should answer carefully, lest we damage our diplomatic standing with uh, this technologically advanced nation. Uh, they are punished for interfering. And the gates of paradise close. Emperor is outraged with their blatant disrespect for his authority and the lives of his soldiers. He has banned his people from both trade and interaction with us, and will no longer hear our delegations or tolerate our presence anywhere in his territory. I mean, I guess I get common energy weaponry. She closed doors. I get San Jose gets eight production of yellow stuff, and they're dead. Okay, sure. Yeah, who cares? Hmm, we could use more stuff. What do we want to do next? Internal restructuring? Brotherhood expansion. Hardens tactics. Yeah, we'll have to go with Hardens tactics. Land auction time. Recovery rate. That's a lot of land auction. Ooh, supply consumption. Organized militias. Elder recalled. Oh, they joined me. Nice. Genius. Uh, oh, he gave you one more population. That's kind of nice. Robots. Eh. Eh. Uh, I kind of want to go down this way because there's the land auction stuff down here. Oops, I missed a day. Whoops, my bad. Oh, well, just one day. Whatever. Mm. Ah, let's go with Explore Silicon Valley. So, despite our need for raw resources, such as metal... The Brotherhood of Steel shall stay true to its core function, the recovery of ancient relics and technological caches. The most recent expedition to Silicon Valley shall maintain its current goals. Very nice. Oh, you have too many people up here. Um, I'm going to send you to the south. Uh, actually, you know what? Send you to the south. I don't want to hurt the veterans. Good. Come down there. Please. Thank you. Seed selection. Very good. Secret language. Very good. Um, grab that for more energy cells. We might need that. Engineering. Probably don't need that really right now. Oh! Improvised tools. Very good. Very, very good. Get that one division out of here. Good. Ooh, you went way too far south. And throw you down here as well. If they have four divisions when they're trying to fight us, that's fine. We have six, so. We can encircle, destroy. Jackals were annexed. Very nice. And you left. Good. Even still, then, we still have problems with supply. I already don't like that. Ah, uh, Maxon's Bulwark. More entrenchment, more defense. That's nice. She closed doors. Well, they're always going to be closed until we open them, which they're dead, so it doesn't really matter. As long as the NCR doesn't go to war with us too soon, we'll be okay. Legacy of Navarro. Ooh, that kind of looks like it hurts. 
Uh, they're still struggling. What is New Vegas up to? They went with the Ultra Lux. And I'm sure they went with Old Authority. I'm not using the Courier 6 mod just because they never choose it, so I decided, you know what? I don't want to put it on. So they went with Old Authority. Hopefully they go with... Oh, they, they are going to go with NCR. I forgot. That's right. Awesome. Uh, land Auction, we're doing well. Uh, specialized Warfare will be important to do early on. We've got another Infantry Division. Very, very good. Very, very good. Um, if you guys just go ahead when you can. How many more days do we have until we can go to war with Arroyo? We have about 25 days, less than one month. Then we will go to war of, with Arroyo. Explore Silicon Valley, 13 days. Very nice. Technology-wise, well, we've got a lot of days left. Battle plans are nice. Supplies, we got a good amount of scavenged power armor. Very good. And I will save my political power to maybe go to war economy, perhaps. Of course, it would be good to get some daily army XP game with a army general, or what do they call them? Ooh, explore Silicon Valley. Military theorists, that's what it is. So, the expedition. So, Silicon, or Silicone Valley holds secrets that we have not even yet found. And every few years, the Western Brotherhood makes a point of launching an expedition into the area. What can we be found with the most recent sweep? An ancient computer for more research speed or a stockpile of high quality metals? Research speed's okay. We already have five research slots and we're advanced, so I'm not really worried about research speed. So let's go with this talk about high quality metals. Next up, we shall do. Develop the slums. Ooh, more monthly population. Strip the sub. I want to go with blueprint recovery because I want more land auction. So, we have gathered over the last few hundred years innumerable computers with hidden information. While we have stockpiled them endlessly, often we have not bothered to extract their secrets. How many blueprints and schematics have we ignored? The correct answer is too many. Ah, uh, yes, a royal city rail. And you know what would be a good idea right now? Can we do that? Oh no, oh, oh godness. 395 days? Holy cow. Even with fast justifications on, it takes forever, even though I know world tension isn't very high. There we go. Now, can we do this? 275 holy cow days. Oh my goodness. What happens if we go to war first? We. Ha! Uh, I know a. Klamath could also go, Brotherhood has become a chapter, not really a chapter, or at least become intellectual, but uh, they can't even join us, so let's go ahead and go to war with these guys, see what happens. Um, can I justify on you any faster? No, you guys, 240 days, that's a little better than 275, and that does open up a few more options for us to take territory around here, so let's go to war with Klamath next. 240 days, holy cow, that's a long time. Alright guys, just go right on ahead. Um, just take Arroyo. You guys keep these guys busy, just keep them busy. That's quite literally all I want you to do. Come up here, and then do that. Then you guys come up here, and then do something like that. Just because you're not winning doesn't mean you're not going to win in the end. Good, 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 good. Oh, just cut them off. Make it easy. There you go, there you go. Take the land. And help them out. Great. Temple of Trials. We're going to need that. Come on back right here. Go ahead and take that division out. We're going to kill off this division very soon. Oh. Is there anything that gives me better war goal? Justify war goals times? Because even with that mod on, it doesn't seem like it's very good. Supply consumption will come in handy. It doesn't look like it. Wait and see. More hardness. Less planning speed for more max planning. Or more attack and planning speed. Um, not bad. Go ahead and take him out as well. Three divisions attacking these guys. Oh, we have lost a little bit of our strength. Makes sense. Let you guys come down here and then help out as well. Very good, very good. Ooh. Can I go to... Oh, I can't go to War Economy. Dang it. I can only go to Early Mobilization. Is that really worth it? It's only 135 political power. It's not bad. Construction speed right now. It's not great. It's really not. It won't improve us by that much if we just go to early mobilization. That's really not worth it. It's best to wait. So, military theorists for more army XP gain and elite army research time. Cool. Uh, let you guys kind of hang out. Don't even move. If we move, we might take some attrition, and I don't want that. You guys are doing well enough anyways. Yeah, we're struggling a little bit, but, you know, whatever. Let them struggle. Let us get more army XP. Or more general XP, really. Because if I want to send you down this way, you guys can come. Oh, just. Help, maybe help them attack, perhaps? 
Okay, let's see. We have another division here. Come over there, to there, to there. Very good. They plot that division out as fast as they possibly could. Oh, baby. Nice. Jump. And there they go. Thank you, Arroyo, for playing, and thank you for your beautiful resources. So many days to get rid of these guys. Holy cow. How many days will this take? 375. You know what? I will justify on them next. Just because you might as well at this point. I don't know why it takes so long, even with my mod on. I'm pretty sure I clicked it on. But... Oh well, let's get our guys on the line first and see what happens. Gliders, good. Militia training, more stuff for planes. Yes, good, 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 good. Point 10, go ahead and get some clay working so we just start building stuff up faster and faster and faster. Resource-wise, we improved our deficit by a little bit. We have Blueprint Recovery next as well. Um, expand Private Military. Uh, Viper Combat Logs. The first troop conflict we ever engaged in was our Viper Conflict, which took the life of Elder Maxon and in many ways introduced us to the horrifying zeal of some Wasteland factions. To this day, we analyze these conflicts again and again so that we might never forget these lessons. A double bonus to Research Doctrine, or Land Doctrine, I should say, is really good, but that's that's pretty much all the time for that we have today, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, I am going to look around to see if I can make war justifications on these enemies any bit faster because right now it just takes quite a bit a while but anyways like i said hope you enjoyed that episode guys if you did perhaps consider leaving a like subscribe if you're new check out my discord link in the description below and i will see you all tomorrow as we shall expand our influence in the wasteland thanks for watching and have a great great day